Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the newest episode of Semi Pro. I am here with Josh Clements and Daniel Savage as we embark on this journey of watching the death of the Incredible Hulk. Man, I wish I was the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've watched one and then. Now we're back. And now we're back. I oh, hate cool. you guys because every single time I have to mute myself because I forget that you're going to talk through the intro music. How are we supposed to know you're doing intro music, man? Because yeah. we do it every time we record How would, this yeah, well, like, like, I, like I said, we haven't re recorded in like months. Yeah, it's been it's been years. And, and usually you mute us for the intro music <laughs> because of that exact reason. <laughs> because you know that we're problematic. Yeah, you you knew what you were getting into with this. You know me. It's been like three weeks, I think. Three weeks. Yeah, it's been three weeks. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Well, it's it's a good time. It's not the longest work. break we've taken. No, we are a uh, we're a week out from She Hulk ending, so. Right. It, it yeah, it works out the way we intended. Yeah, it, yeah, it was all part of the plan. It's all part yeah. of the plan. Right. It's yeah. all part of the plan for sure. For Jamie, sure. uh, can you start playing God's Plan by Drake? <laughs> so tonight we're talking Jamie, about. Can you start playing Mr. Bombastic by Shaggy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry, by Norville. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, don't call him by his government name. <laughs> um. So today we're talking about uh, the incredible, the death of the Incredible Hulk, even though our thumbnail that Josh made that we can't go back on now because we've already started this episode still says the Incredible Hulk returns because he didn't change the title. Um, we're talking about the death of the Incredible <laughs> Hulk. <laughs> Actually, we're going to watch The Bride of the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> we said, we talked we titled it as Death of the Incredible Hulk. We have the, the splash page well, saying Incredible Hulk returns, and then we watch the bride. <laughs> Keep them guessing. <laughs> um, we'll talk about Bride and the Incredible Hulk a little bit in our actual discussion, because that's a very interesting story, probably more interesting than this movie's going to be. I have uh, no hope for this one. Maybe a little more hope than I'm letting on, because David Banner, not David Banner, uh, what, who's the actor? Bill, uh, Bixby. Bill Bixby. Bill Bixby directed. <laughs> yeah, Brush had to sneak Bill Bixby in there. <laughs> he directed the better of the two Hulk movies we've seen so far right. in this 70s Hulk movie sweep. Um, and the one that he didn't direct was garbage. But after watching that one, I'm not super excited to continue this, which is why it took us three weeks to get around to actually doing it. The um, thing is, I think. Like, I don't know how much of Trial of the Incredible Hulk was good because of Bill Bixby's direction and how much was just, we all really love Daredevil and really like seeing Daredevil. Yeah, but the story was done so well. And I get he didn't yeah. write it. But what like, if, what, do you think any part of it was also like your expectations weren't exactly, you know, high for it? Well, you didn't see well, mine, it. Well, mine were. I had I had pretty high expectations for, for Trial, and yeah. all of those expectations were met. Yeah, Trial was great. Um, Returns was dookie. <laughs> Returns was not. Returns was yeah. really I'm bad. Glad, I'm glad I missed that one. So I'm excited to see how uh, Deaths... I keep reading it on the screen because I can see it while we're recording. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how Death stacks up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that Hulk dies in this movie. They kind of spoiled that. No! <laughs> uh, uh, he wouldn't. But uh, we're going to go and watch it now, and then uh, when we come back here in just a few seconds for you, we will have watched the full movie. Uh, I and am the, personally the not at all... The will uh, probably change to something a bit more appropriate. It won't, actually. We can't stop it without stopping the whole recording. Um, yeah. Personally, I am not looking forward to this a ton. I'm very curious to hear you guys. Are you looking forward to it, not looking forward to it, where you stand? Um... I don't know. I I think it'll be cool to see um, Hulk. All right, just just cut cut to the part where we're miserable at this movie. All right, everybody, welcome back. We have not finished the movie. We are right at the end. We've got about ten minutes left. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give our predictions as to how the Incredible Hulk is gonna die in this movie. My personal prediction is that he is going to fall to his own 
death. Uh, Daniel, you go next. Uh, I feel like I've been here for three hours. Um, what was the question? How is the Hulk going to die? How is the Incredible Hulk going to die oh, in the death um, of the Incredible Hulk? Uh, I think prostate cancer. Ah, interesting choice, Josh. No, um, it's it's got it's got to be radiation of some kind. I, anything else, I, I really believe, or just or just general explosion. Explosion, explosion, or yeah. radiation. Cool. There's some some combination of both. Maybe I don't know. Uh, what was the question? How is the Incredible Hulk going to die uh, in the death of the Incredible Hulk? Yeah. I, I think it's going to be pretty simple. So I think it would be like he gets the radiation treatment and, and loses the Hulk and then uh, mm. like takes ah. a stab for uh, Black Widow. Yeah, or like a bullet or something. Yeah, yeah like, like self-sacrifice. Interesting, right. interesting. So you're going, he is cured. So that's the death of the Incredible Hulk. I feel like there's not enough time to cure him, though. Yeah, that's my thought as well. All right, we got about 10 minutes left. We're going to pause it here, and then we will be back in just a few moments to chat about the death of the Incredible Hulk. Hey, we're back. All right, and welcome back. I was right, Daniel was right, Josh was incorrect, and that's all that matters. True. Facts. Yeah. Josh will not say a word because he was wrong. <laughs> ah, he mad. <laughs> He's so mad. We'll get into that. We'll we'll explain later what actually happened in the death of the Incredible Hulk. But I, spoiler I alert: been, the Hulk I dies. Been, I may have been. Whoa, wrong. come on. However, man. I'm also going to ascertain that uh, Dong Zhuang just out of spite. You know, in 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 the. <laughs> All right, everybody, we've already broken down half of the plot because I forgot to hit record. We'll get to who won the bet at the end of this episode. Josh is going to break down the plot starting from the very beginning. He'd run the plot up until wherever we were. Plot speed one, here we go. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry both to my podcasting partners and the listening audience for forgetting to really, start really the recording. Just, just apologize to Josh. He's, I, he's the one really suffering. I went to check the time to see how much time we had left because I was like, man, we're taking a minute with this plot. I was like, oh, oh it's so paused. Right. Uh. Speed one. Speed one. All right, let's go. Let's do it. How do we open Speed this run. movie? Any, any percent. David Banner is now hiding out as a janitor in a science museum where uh, he is keeping an eye on a professor that he based all of his work off when he became Hulk, who is buying a formula that that could possibly fix his condition. But the issue is the professor isn't running it properly. So David Banner works as a uh, janitor who has a good relation with the professor who gets carrot cakes sometimes. I don't think it was a museum. It wasn't. It was, it was, it's a science <laughs> museum, sorry. But nonetheless, he has a good professor. He has a good relationship with the professor and gets offered carrot cakes sometimes that maybe or maybe not a rock. <laughs> and, right, he, after hours, he goes back for his thermos and actually goes to fix the professor's uh, equations and formulas that could lead to a cure for the Hulk that he is looking for. Oh, that's what the thermos was for. Yeah, I just, I just got. I that. just made that connection. That was, Way that to was, go, Josh! <laughs> Look at you on top of things. Uh, following it this. should be noted really quickly before Josh gets any further with this plot. <laughs> Me and Daniel were checked out for this whole <laughs> yeah. movie. Josh was only yeah. checked in because he knew he had to break down the plot. Well, I knew yeah. one of us had to break down the plot. <laughs> and I, knew right. you two I told you at the very beginning that it was you. <laughs> like, you knew like, that this was going to be you. So you watched this movie intently. Well, okay. Let's not say intently. <laughs> Um, okay, so he, he tries to fix the professor's formula so that he could become Hawkins. Uh, one day after <laughs> going to work, he goes to cash a paycheck where he talks to Lou Ferrigno's wife, Carla Ferrigno, and uh, he, he cashes in this paycheck, gets some money, get, follows a guy into a dark alleyway where the guy goes, hey, I want some money. And he goes, uh, here's some money. He goes, no, I want all of your money because I, I don't want to work and you work. So he gives him the money, but it's fake money. And then uh, as they jump David Banner and throw him into some, some shit, he uh, he he hulks out and then goes to fight them, and uh, he, he pushes them into dumpsters that they rolled in front of him like some kind of uh, old old gag. Uh, like who then, frames Roger Rabbit? Even right, like who frames Roger, Roger Rabbit? Who frames Roger Rabbit? Frame this is me, this is me and Daniel making this observation right now. Nobody else has made this observation at all at any point in this discussion. It's just Ooh, yeah, like who frames Roger Rabbit? Original. 
Yeah. I can't wait to get paid my three pence for this, please. <laughs> Josh, your pay has been docked. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, so, at so the same time that all this is up. happening, there is a Eastern European spy called Jasmine who is working for a man that looks like Yasmin. Fidel Castro and Che Guevara mixed into one. Yes. Correct. Who, it's Yasmin, not Jasmine. Who, her name is Scott Jasmine, who is working for a man called Z, yeah, which is the English version of how Americans say that Z. And then... Which, um, which we, didn't, the... we didn't mention this the last time we, we weren't recording. Um, that, that That is only pronounced Z in American because of the alphabet song. That's something we all collectively learned while right. watching this movie. Yes, I, I we want to... So bored while watching this movie that we got into an entire discussion about that, and then Dalton looked it up. Yes. It, it is only because of that, because the guy who wrote the alphabet song in 1835, which who would have thought it was written all the way back then? Uh, he just needed to rhyme it with me. So, yeah. Pretty yeah. pretty cool. Pretty fun for fun alphabet. Yeah, because it would sound I'm like. like... Go, go ahead. It would say Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with Med? It just doesn't make any sense. So he changed it yeah, to no, Z it, it so that work. it would rhyme with uh with me it also it also rhymes with c better which which works yeah too, ABCs. so so really i think it, i think it was meant to be yeah I no think, it definitely um, works better like it flows uh, better it feels more like a shout letter out, shout out to whoever whoever wrote the alphabet song you a real one for that I yeah also, his name I is robert say, i also like to say that, is, that, is that is, it? Does, he not, does he not have a last name hold no, on like i'm beyonce. looking it up <laughs> it's, like, it's like beyonce i'm looking oh, it up. yeah it's just robert I'd also like to say that the reason it's Beyonce, pronounced um, Z in, Beyonce, uh, Beyonce in, has a Beyonce has a last name. It's Knowles. She she's not. She doesn't just have one what name. She not? <laughs> when I googled who wrote the <laughs> ABC song, the Jackson Five came up. <laughs> yeah, all the way all the way back in eight five. And shout out shout out to the Jackson Five. <laughs> the oh, yeah, shout out to the Jackson Five for not letting Michael Jackson's balls drop or whatever. Charles Bradley. Hmm. So not, <laughs> so not Robert. No, no, no. no um, not even a little bit. I don't know where I came up with that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I just I made know. it up on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> like just now, I'm pretty sure I just said <laughs> Robert something. <laughs> just assuming that it would be a Robert when I googled it. I mean, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good guess. Thanks. Appreciate you. His name was Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right josh um, now continue so yeah. with the plot of the incredible hulk dies or whatever this movie is about so uh this movie was originally going to be an iron man spin-off then it was going to be a she-hulk spin-off then it was going to be a black widow spin-off and they ultimately settled on making it a black widow spin-off rip-off so there's a <laughs> Eastern european spy called yasmin who's doing work for fidel castro who is doing work for her name's guy. yasmin by the way yeah he said at that time i know Okay. And, uh, she, and she also, thinks... also, they're wor they're working for um someone named Zed, right? right which, which is the British which, version of which, Z, which is not pronounced is, Z, right? But also, surprisingly, is not how we got on. No, the, the, the whole it's, Z it's conversation is unrelated. Yeah. yeah, which yeah. is really yeah. weird. It's so odd. We were having that discussion before we knew that his name was Z. Right, Zed. Before, I think before the character had even been introduced. Right, no, this was before we started watching the movie. I think I think it was like I think it was like in that thirteen nah, minutes. Yeah, I think that, it was in the, the, the longest that, that thirteen minutes like of hour. existence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either way, because this this thirteen minutes feels longer to me as I'm trying to explain the rest of this movie before I can go to sleep. What's hilarious um, is to the listening audience, this episode has been going on for thirteen minutes. <laughs> so, whoa, so, meta. Very, very meta. We're very She Hulk in this. That, that's a very uh, M Night Shyamalan twist. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's a twist. <laughs> <laughs> twist. This episode is bad. <laughs> it's all a twist. Uh, I think this is the best episode yet. <laughs> so, Do you guys remember when we changed the letter Z or the letter Z to Z simply because we needed it to rhyme in a song here in America? <laughs> I'd also I like to point out. That it's Z pretty much everywhere else because everywhere else got the the everywhere 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 else everywhere else 
got the the <laughs> alphabet off of the Greek alphabet, where it's pronounced Zeta, and then they went to French, which is okay. Z. But Josh, how do you sing the alphabet song? It's <laughs> a good sing. point. Josh, sing it for me real quick. Go ahead, go ahead, sing it. For Josh, me. go ahead, sing the alphabet song for me real Come on. quick. Next time, won't you sing with me? Next time, won't you won't sing you? with who? Med. Okay, so this movie, we watched a movie, and Che Guevara's in it, and so is Black Widow, and the MCU stole Black Widow from this movie. Did we talk about um, that in this episode, or the one that we canceled? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. In case we already didn't, they stole the plot of Avengers Age of Ultron from this movie. All and, right, also, Josh. and also the plot of Black Widow, making, I mean, we, we don't know that... Um, that that her sister was meant to also be a black widow, but I'm I'm gonna say that that in the original cut of this, where it was it was it really probably, black probably. widow. Yeah, they, it was supposed to be a second black so, yeah, widow. So basically, she's MCU. doing one last espionage piece of work so that she can save her sister, who she's been told is kidnapped. Uh, so she she goes to a bar and steals a guy's <laughs> fingerprint so that she can sneak into the lab where David Banner. <laughs> yeah, she, tr she tricks me. She tricks me with a fake wig. She, she got me. <laughs> I don't know if I talked about that on in this recording or not yet, but <laughs> everything's blown into one. Yeah. <laughs> Don's lost it. Man, Don, Don's gone. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard Don <laughs> It It sounds like a fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I makes you think he's doing a bit, but I know he's just—he's just unhinged. I know, I've, I know that. I've the, currently, the like, I've he's currently, like su I'm currently suffocating because I can't <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> I know it's just because I'm like, 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 the, the mass hysteria. I'm going recording like half an hour's worth of footage, and then realizing he hasn't recorded a single second. <laughs> Oh. It was only <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. So, Daniel, so she's wearing a wig, and you thought it was a different character. I did, yeah, because I hadn't, I, hadn't, I, hadn't I hadn't looked at, uh, at, at Xenia on the top that closely. Although I can't, I can't really blame it on that, because then it, it got me again when I thought... I thought it got you again when you thought that Betty Brandt was the same person. Yeah, it's like Betty Ross, except because she's just some secretary named Betty. Why I, did you guys stop heard. being funny? Because I can't stop. I've never heard of I'm dying. I'm dying here. It's, there's physical pain going on. Ooh. What about the part where he offers some carrot cake to him? Uh, nah, that wasn't that funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny, I think. <laughs> All right, so she's in a wig, and she goes to the bathroom, and she takes off the wig. And she, mm -hmm. she takes the guy's fingerprint inside. <laughs> right, not she sticks her fingers inside of a cup all <laughs> funny. No, no, yeah. finger of a cup. <laughs> she likes to buy his finger off and steal it. Right. Uh, <laughs> she holds the cup funny. She, she, she holds does. the cup from the inside and then takes the fingerprint from the outside. Uh, she kind of looks like she's doing the, the stereotypical Italian hand inside the cup. <laughs> right. Right, um, correct. And then she, she looks like uh, a security guard in the laboratory where David uh, works with the professor who knows that David has been the one fixing his formula. <clears throat> so he's working with David to cure him of his hulkness. Right. But don't forget the computer the where computer, he says that I am Peter. nobody. He, the computer he also has the computer, who is David Banner? And the computer, instead of saying David Banner doesn't exist, he just goes, I do not exist. Okay, no, that's, well, that's no, not David Banner types that, no, Josh. David, what are David you Banner saying? The one that <laughs> that out. It was a chat room, which they also stole for the Incredible Hulk, okay, it was, the movie it wasn't, with Edward Norton. It wasn't Norton. a chat room. It was, it was like <laughs> something in the computer <laughs> where the, the <laughs> scientist, Dr. 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 Shut up. Doctor Who? Doctor Chris Pratt, the actor who played Mario. <laughs> Mushroom, goes, Kingdom. Mushroom Kingdom! Mushroom Kingdom! Here Mushroom we go! Kingdom. <laughs> this is the oh, yeah, worst so. episode of this podcast <laughs> by far. I think it's the uh, best. When, so so Zenyu on a top breaks into Chris Pratt's office to, to steal the formula. As they're doing like some weird experiment to get rid of of, of the Hulk. How far um, into this movie are we at this point? Like thirteen like minutes. 
<laughs> and then then uh, Chris Pratt sees her and he goes, it's a me, a Mario. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at some at some point, I don't I don't know where we are in the Dr. Chris Pratt is talking to his wife and saying, Oh, this guy's been helping me. I should I turn him in? And she's like, Oh, but if he's helping you, you shouldn't turn him in. And then he goes and he, he finds out that it's it's David Banner and he's like, Oh, David Banner, I remember you. Something happened to you. You got turned into some kind of incredible hulk or something. <laughs> David Banner. He's like, Yeah, it's me. <laughs> David Banyan. Right, it's me. It's me. <laughs> this is about how far we got in the original recording, just by and the then, way, folks. Well, okay, so then after that, he, he tries to fix him with, like, a giant torture device. Um, oh, yeah, he, he has a, a, a comical, like, blue lightning force field around him. That That's, like, test the creature. And he, he shadow boxes it. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> Lou Ferrigno has the worst body acting ever, and he has to pretend to punch something that doesn't exist, and he just like slightly extends his fist. Well, no, no, he, has to, he has to pretend to punch something that doesn't exist, and they told him to do it in slow motion. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Don just checked out. Don's He's gone. gone. <laughs> My man is gone. I'm thinking about him just punching nothing, <laughs> and he just so very slightly moves his arm. <laughs> and then, then uh, just keep going. Just go on without me. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> uh, then after that, they uh, they. <laughs> him in another torture device where it like swings him around on a chair and he has like uh, uh, an Iron Man no, head. That, no, I think that was the same torture device. Yeah, I think no, no, that was the one. Josh. No, no, no that's a different one. First, first he was on the, the, the Assassin's Creed Animus chair. No, 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 because he, he's in the Assassin's Creed Animus one when the Black Widow spy oh, breaks in. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no. He's, he's right. in the he's yeah. in the he's in the Star Wars laser grid. Uh, <laughs> right. And then yeah, that he, so that they could like cut. see the Hulk. Yeah, and he gets a cut on his back, which they focused on for some reason. Yeah, I guess they, that it's, was it's a cut on the back to prove that, die. like... To, it, no, it's to prove that, like, even though Hulk is a separate thing, the, like, the idea still works, and he can still heal from stuff easily. Mm, so it was the opposite of a setup for him to die. It was showing that he couldn't die. And, yeah, it was showing that he couldn't die, so that they could go cool. off and move cool. God damn it. <laughs> Then, yeah, then he puts him in, like, a giant chair that swings around uh, right. and lasers him a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, just, it's just the worst-looking laser into his <laughs> brain. <laughs> and and uh, the Black Widow spy breaks in by impersonating the security guard, then running at the security guard, knocking her okay, out. It, admittedly, th this scene had had one of the, the best little, little bits of wordplay in... Uh, at least this movie, <laughs> where um, one of, one of the other security guards goes, "Betty, I thought you were supposed to be at the front door." And she goes, "I am at the front door." And then it, it like it cuts to her walking to the front door, and and the real Betty's there, and she like chloroforms her. That was that was pretty clever, I think. Yeah, and then the guy comes down the corner. And he's like, "Oh, it's you, Betty, the woman yeah. I've worked with oh. every day for the last four years. That looks ever so slightly different now." Uh, okay, it, admittedly, I I, th I thought that that she was the real Betty, the like when it showed her in the blonde wig, because both <laughs> yeah, have, that's like, because the most generic have no looking woman face. What this woman is supposed to <laughs> yeah. look like? No, <laughs> you, you, she puts on a wig. Do you think she's someone else, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she's just got one of those faces, yeah, man. She, she, okay, yeah, she's the. All right. <laughs> She's you comedian, argued remember? with us for moments, legitimate seconds, <laughs> about the fact that this was actually Betty, and then she don't tackled real Betty, and you still <laughs> kept the argument going. No, do you do you not remember them calling her a comedian? <laughs> they did. They, they, they name dropped chameleon. This is a Spider-Man movie. Um, so she she goes in to steal that, but that brings Hulk out, and he he puts the professor into a coma. Uh, <laughs> he puts the pussy in a coma. <laughs> um, 
And then it was this was this when we had the Kool Aid Man scene of um of him of him like smashing through the wall. Yeah, that was in the like the very later opening or earlier. Movie. That was like the opening scene where we established uh, no, that no, he's then, the whole. No, then I think then all well, there was the Kool Aid Man was... scene and the 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 walls styrofoam walls in this were a lot better than they were in in trial. <laughs> they were yeah. seeing so much yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know that because I've not seen trial. Um. <laughs> well, in that yeah. movie, they were literally pieces of stuff. <laughs> like it was like, you can see the little they, floaties they coming off on it. Like they, they, they had a close-up shot of what was oh. obvious. Oh, yeah, it was, it was rough. <laughs> the 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 brick one in this looked good. Like he jumps through a brick wall. Oh, was point in good. It. Yeah, and it had like the brick like actually crumbling and tumbling and falling and yeah, other synonyms. That was great. Uh, after after the scene where the professor gets put into a coma, he runs away and. Uh, as Banner outruns a truck, um, which you skipped great. ahead for a, like forty-five minutes. No, it's, it's nothing. It, admitted, admittedly, yeah, I, I wasn't there for that. So no, I, no, I, I no. That, that that seemed no, like that, perfectly that's... normal plot continuation for me. <laughs> it's not. No, that's... <laughs> the scene, the scene that? where he runs away from the trucks is after him and Black Widow are a couple. No, 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 because he, no, he jumped no, no, no. out. Yeah, the, he, you know, runs, he runs away from the lab. No, no, he runs away from the lab, gets chased oh, by yeah. the guys that Black Widow is working yeah. for. And, and that, then... that's when they become a, t- a couple, because she gets shot, and then they go to the cabin, and then Age of Ultron stole she, this plot point. But she doesn't no, but get shot until the, until the gas station, right? No, but that's, that's yeah, yeah that's but the they're, not, they're not a couple. They're not a couple at that point. No, mm-hmm. that's, not, that's the thing when she gets told. until after he sews her up with a fishing hook. That's that's the scene where she gets told that her sister, who she thought was kidnapped, is just another spy. Yeah, yeah, that's when that's when uh, Che Guevara the doctor, Fidel Castro dies. Main doctor yeah. is is yeah, in the Dr. hospital. Chris Pratt. Doctor Chris yeah, Pratt is in the hospital because he's, he's, he's in a coma because Chris Pratt got uh, bullied too much for being Mario. <laughs> right. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then um so david banner's in the hospital and he makes a bunch of fart jokes to to try and cheer up dr pratt <laughs> um that that scene wasn't meant to be in the movie that was just unscripted oh, yeah. that was just that was just bill bixby making fart jokes <laughs> um um uh, and then yeah and then him and him and jasmine jasmine spend time at a cabin where they just they fall in love, uh, and she strips naked so that he could sew up a wound. Right. Yeah, and th- this was this was I got the order. This was before he, he's in the hospital because then right, when he's right. in the hospital is when he has the drippy cardigan. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, yeah. and, or, and or and or he takes a pic with Cardi B inside of it. A I'm cardigan not, I'm not sure that. so drippy that I literally <laughs> went on Amazon while we were watching it and ordered one that looked like it. <laughs> like that's how drippy this, this I spent true. forty dollars on a cardigan because I saw it in this movie and is liked that, it is so that the much. Card, like I know I know it's blurred on the splash page, but is that the cardigan in the like in that picture? For on the no, I don't it's so. possible, but I think that's supposed to be like a doctor's jacket. I, I that's yeah, but it could be the cardigan because the cardigan did kind of look like a. Doctor's and he also coat. snapped a picture of Cardi B in it. Mm. That is true. Mm. I, I did hear that. <laughs> right. Um, Cardi B is at my cardigan. Play <laughs> uh, Cardi then Builder, then Mr. Builderman. <laughs> me, 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 me. I just want to get a win when Ninja Plump is in my Fortnite land. Play it on Great Big Cardi Builder, Mr. Builderman. I hope your cardigan gets stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then, what happens after all of this? Oh, the doctor gets kidnapped. I remember that. Yeah, well, there, there was the there was the cracked little um little the 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 hospital after making fart jokes, and and he opens up his his cardigan and shirt, and there's just like a bandage there for no reason, and he puts that on. Yeah, he um, puts it on his eye. eyeball. And then he get then he gets into a wheelchair and and um. Fam and mocks the same as people. As the, can we just call her? Nurse. Can we just call her Black Widow? She's make it easier on it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue calling her whatever the first thing to pop into my head is, and that's either gonna be Famke Jansen or Xenia on the top. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I just I can't help it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, woman who who played Yasmin in Death. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. But I looked up her name, but I already forgot it. It was like Susie something. I'm sorry, Susie. My my bad. 
her her name is her name is Elizabeth Grayson. I was, <laughs> I was you know, something. Okay, I got the Z. There's a Z. That's closer than than Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Robert. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elizabeth Grayson, for calling you Famke Jansen. Was but it, in... it is a compliment because Famke Jansen is a beautiful. Woman. Was Robert um, in this one and, or and the her... previous <laughs> recording? Do we need to explain? I don't. It? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're just now tuning in, <laughs> we have been discussing who no, wrote the No, we have not. We have not been discussing song. anything. <laughs> Discussing a single thing. I don't think we got to the bottom of who wrote the British version of the alphabet song, and if they sing that version of it or British not. Version of it. We're just singing with the Z. <laughs> but then, so how do you, do you not, end do, it? Do you not have? Yeah, do you not not have next time? Once you sing with me, uh, I don't. I never. Hmm. Wow, that's, that's sad. Sucks. Yeah. Man, <laughs> All no, right. No wonder <laughs> British people are so depressed. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, um, movie, plot points, happen, things happen. Where are we? Um, okay, in the hospital. He's in the, um, the wheelchair. He has the drippy cardigan. Big eye patch. They leave. They get into a car that they steal from one of the government agents. Once again, the cardigan is so drippy that I went on Amazon and ordered another version of it. Correct. Um, unspecified government agency. Other agents come after them, chase them in car. Uh, surround them in like a junkyard with a bunch of um, forklifts or, or cranes or scooper things, whatever. Um, then they they crush them, uh, but then he hulks out and it shows um, his eyes and they're green with the Hulk contact lenses. And then which we discussed, are they just contact lenses or are they a special effect? Yeah, Josh I think, said I think they were we... light. I think we agreed that it's it's a combination of uh, a green contact lens that's also like reflective and has some sort of like ring light or something in front of it to make it glow more, as well as maybe a little uh, digital touching up. Yeah, or they did but none of that and it just looks cool. Maybe, maybe that's just what um, <laughs> Bill Bixby's eyes look like. <laughs> Who knows? You maybe, mean Lou maybe. Ferrigno, right? <laughs> no, because he has them as Bill Bixby in this scene. That's, yeah. that's, that's what I was saying. Because it it show it shows just Bill Bixby with the Hulk eyes, which I thought was was really cool. That was correct. Yeah. Um. But anyways, he catches the the forklift scooper. Um. And and stops it, and then he he gets down, and it's just it's just stopped midair. <laughs> And then oh yeah, um, I forgot about that. <laughs> this is this is when we really realized that um that uh, Age of Ultron stole the Black Widow Hulk love right. interest. Right, we, we, we I, I looked it up. That's not a thing in the comics. It was never a thing apparently before like Age of Ultron. But given right, that except this, for in this movie, this movie even though it doesn't feature Black Widow, it's just it it's like it's she Black is Widow, so like, very clearly yeah. Black Widow. Yeah, right. Right, it's just it's Grey Widow. <laughs> sure, <laughs> it's it's a dark gray spider. <laughs> right. Um. So yeah, then he he like as in in Luke, you know, Hulk, he he picks her up out of the the destroyed um like SUV or whatever, and then it like cuts to them, you know, bumping uglies or whatever. I don't I don't remember. Josh, take over the plot. This is. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> and at this point, <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I had, I had, I had a good five minutes. Of- you, you did well, now. You did well. Now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I. So at this point, uh, the professor and his wife have been taken by the bad guys, who is uh, Zenyonatop's sister, um, right. and Bella Zed. is, is Bella, name, Bella, and yeah, yes. Bella Lugosi, uh, and she. They are. They're an airfield, like getting ready to leave. So they they travel to this airfield to free them. Uh, I think during... I think right I think right about now is is when we cut in predictions. Yeah, this this was kind of at the point where we were like, oh, it's we got ten minutes left. We got to do this. Right. Yeah. So they go to rescue the two people who are being held hostage. And when I say held hostage, they were just in a room that was very separate to where <laughs> everyone else and everything else was, and they Correct. were just like chilling. Uh, yeah. 
like uh, I'm just at this point, I actually don't remember if that if that happened. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just taking this on blind faith that that you're all right. And then Bella gets in the plane, and they they will be shot at by like government agents and stuff. So Hulk and uh, Black Widow are trying to navigate this without being shot, and they're in a plane where Bella then shoots Zed uh, and leaves him for dead, and the plane goes out. Yeah, why, Widow, did, why did she do that? Because she's evil, I guess. Mm, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> then... Uh, so who, who else was on the plane, though? Someone else was on the plane. I think it was just like I was. Henchman. It was just her henchman. Yeah, but it was, it was someone, someone no, else. No, it was, it was, was the guy was, from was earlier like who was weird. Something. Yeah, Chazza or something. Yeah. Kasha. Was, Kasha. Kasha. Kasha, yeah. Because that's, that's what she, like, uh, what's-his-face said when he was dying. He was like, or something about Chaz or Casca, whatever his name was. Zaza. Uh, <laughs> Zaza. Yeah. He went outside and he smelled that Zaza. Then uh, the plane starts chasing Black Widow who manages to outrun it for an extended period of time before just realizing Which is that a, she can... Is, is a regular plot point in this movie is normal human beings outrunning vehicles? Right. <laughs> right. No, Bruce Banner does it towards a truck at one point. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. That's, yeah. that's, it, was, it was a callback. <laughs> it's a callback for all dedicated viewers. Uh, yeah, right? It was a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> it was a deep cut to 20 minutes ago. Uh, you know, in the... Uh, it wasn't the even that long. This is a very short <laughs> episode of this podcast. <laughs> in the biz, we like to call that an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, what, what can I say? I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm a good writer, you know, set up, pay off, foreshadowing. These are all words. <laughs> True. They most certainly are, um, Josh. So then um, I, I said that she should have just uh, ran to the side because field and everyone knows planes can only drive on the airstrip. They can't drive on the ground. <laughs> it would have been so <laughs> yeah. gone, Excuse me, ma'am. We're going to have to issue yeah, yeah. a fine for this. The, the little guys with the, the glowing batons would have come in. They would have like, no, nope, no, nope, go that way, that way. <laughs> they kept going, go back, go back. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld from that one scene, he had an airplane where he was credited as one of the guys with the batons. He would have come that- in and gone like, yeah, that's Jerry Seinfeld. Huh, I, didn't, I never realized that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that, I might have just made that up. No, looked, I think you looked, did make that. Because he looked, he looked and sounded like I looked it up and I couldn't find any any proof that he was in that movie. But he looked and sounded exactly like Jerry Seinfeld, and they called him Jerry. His character's name in the movie was Jerry. Maybe it was just a um, reference. But that's not. That's to what that movie came out before Seinfeld was like popular. Like what, did it? nobody stand up comedian it's, at that. When point. did Seinfeld it's, come out? Google like it right 1990s. now. It was yeah, like nineties. Well, this was ninety. No, no, no. We're talking about dead. airplane. We're talking about. We're not talking about death of the. <laughs> we're talking about airplane. I'm a better zone doubt for a minute. Also, Seinfeld. Seinfeld was eighty nine, and airplane was nineteen eighty. <laughs> yeah, this movie came right. out in nineteen ninety. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe air, airplane foreshadowed Seinfeld. <laughs> All right, plot breakdown, Josh. Where are we? Where are you? <laughs> there's, no, there's no plot breakdown. The, no, she, no she, plot. She, she ducked under, under the airplane. airplane. She ducked under the airplane. Hulk jumps into the airplane. It flies off in the air. Someone brings out a gun and decides to shoot the fuel from inside the plane. Uh, and then it explodes. I, mean, I didn't understand that. I, maybe it's because we were like, like all like arguing at the time over <laughs> who's going to be right about how he dies. But but I did, yeah, I didn't we're almost why. there. So we gone. we paused well, no, it at okay, this so, point, okay, so, so, which so, to you guys is seconds ago. But we, no, no, we no. paused it at no, this no, point. It, no, 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 for them it's it's like it's like thirty minutes ago. We've, right, we've it was been like also we paused while. it like ten minutes earlier than this. <laughs> right? Yeah. Basically, um, what we said was, "How is Hulk gonna die?" And we're we trying to, to pay off that back. setup. We don't <laughs> need to do a callback. We, Josh, we just did a callback to you, nothing. In case you forgot. In case you forgot. In case you're just tuning in, Josh. What was your prediction as to how he was going to die? My, my prediction was that he was going to lose Hulk ability and then self-sacrifice. Hmm. Mine was mine was kind of similar, not with the self, self-sacrifice. I thought he was just going to have some sort of radiation that got rid of his powers, like maybe whatever chemical they were developing, and then that was going to explode and 
hit him and also kill him. My prediction was that he was going to fall to his death. Right. Um, now Josh, we have a plot to break down. Finish the pro- plot. Uh, so <laughs> someone pulls a gun to shoot Hulk. He grabs the gun and like like pushes it down, angles it down. The the woman fires and shoots the fuel, which blows up the plane, causing a massive explosion. Well, someone someone yells fuel, so I feel like they were trying <laughs> to shoot because someone literally yells fuel, and I was like, oh, they're gonna do it. They're gonna blow him up. I was. <laughs> that, that, that was the that was the director on set accidentally <laughs> noticed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was Bill Bixby. It was Bill Bixby <laughs> noticing Bill Bixby. that. No, it was, it was Lou Ferrigno noticing that there was fuel leaking out of this plane. <laughs> While he was on it. <laughs> he just said, Phew. Yeah, fun fact Lou Ferrigno actually did all his own stunts. <laughs> like, what uh, does Bill Bixby like sound like? <laughs> He's like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Did you, did you, did you hear how Don made Lou Ferrigno sound? He went, foo. Yeah, well, Lou Ferrigno has a lisp. He's not a caveman. <laughs> he, he has a lisp. He doesn't go, foo. I've laughed so hard I have phlegm built up in my lungs. I'm like, I'm like sweating from how much... I, that, that's a phlegm is how Lou Ferrigno says fly. Ah. So can you reveal who won the bet here? No, you this guys is... both owe me $120,000. What, what do you mean? I was right too. I haven't been paid. Josh, you owe yeah, both me and Daniel $120,000. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible. So there's a giant explosion, and Hulk falls to his death. So it's kind of, it's a tie between Don and and, and Daniel because they both got to buy it. Right, except for Daniel said it was going to be radiation, but I'm not going to count yeah, that against him because we're I was, both right. I was half. I was you, half. Okay, Daniel did say that. However, seconds before what happened happened, Don <laughs> goes, "Oh, actually, you know, if there's, if there's a separate explosion, it shouldn't count." <laughs> Yeah, I said um, if he dies from a fall matter. and then there's an explosion, I it win. It doesn't matter. If there's sure. an explosion that he dies oh, from and then he won. falls. Me and Dalton both won because he exploded think, and he didn't think, die from it, but he, he didn't really die from the fall either. He just died think, on the uh, ground after exploding and falling. He, we, we, we were kind of arguing over who was going to win when both of the things happened. When right, he right. so perfectly died from both that we just kind of gave up yeah. and we both win. And now Josh owes us both $120,000. Jo- Correct. Do you, think, do you think when Luther Vigno saw the explosion, he just pointed out and he went, boom. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> he has a lisp, Josh. He's not... Yeah, you're the one who made him sound like a caveman. <laughs> All I did was try to emulate his lisp. You were playing with his lisp. You emulated his lisp by saying a word that has no S's in it. He can't say his S's. That's his lisp. Yeah, there's no S's in He calls it a lip. <laughs> when, he, when he said goodbye to, to Bill Bates, he went, boop. But... <laughs> he calls him ill Ippy. <laughs> That's fine. He's, you know, we love you, Lou. <laughs> Shout out to Lou Ferrigno. If him, if Lou, Lou, if you're listening, if you and your wife ever want to cast, we got you, man. We, we promise we we will write a script that doesn't have any S's. All right, you'll you'll be fine. <laughs> It's got the trial of the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> because there were no S's in that to begin with. What? Man, don't, don't lost the plot so badly. Don't go there, don't say what? I've, I've never seen Dalton do it like this. In, in the, the six years that I've known Dalton, I've never seen this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh. I need you to finish this movie, please. <laughs> That's it. The movie's finished. The movie's done. Oh yeah, he's, dead. No, he's laying in the crater. The, the he's Hulk, dead. The Hulk dies, and then it just cuts to black. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh well, no, he had he had a super a super depressing, but but also kind of optimistic. Hey, hey, depends. Right, yeah, she was like she was like kind of food she, she, she goes David. David. His name's David. He's not gay. His name's David. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that now that's a real callback. <laughs> that's a callback to two episodes ago. <laughs> okay, so she goes. She goes, David. We could have been free, and he goes, I am, I am free. free. He doesn't say it like like Josh said it because that was Batman. He but. says, <laughs> he says, I am free. He goes, Swear to me. He says, no, he says, I am free. This is the death of the Incredible says, Hulk. And then he there's goes, a, I am free, eyes. and now I know my ABC. There, there's, a, uh, <laughs> with me. There's, an, there's an outtake. There's an outtake that exists where uh, it, it's the final scene. It's the final scene. And Bill Bixby is going, he goes, he goes I am free. <laughs> Josh, shut up. Shut up, yeah. shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. There's no That's... joke you can make that would be better no, than there... the one Daniel already made. <laughs> there there's isn't, but no I, I, I... chance you can type it. No, no, there, there's no chance. But I've already insulted Luke for a try, so I might as well go for it. <laughs> so there's a outtake for this movie where Bill Bixby says, I am free, and then off screen, you hear Luke Frigno go, Me free. <laughs> 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 we I just wanna say I just wanna say like me and Don so me and Don have been doing this podcast for, for what two years total three years too long if you if you account if you count our original podcast if we count like the, five yeah, if we count the original it's been like at least three years first off I've never seen Don lose it like, Second off, I've never seen a podcast episode as chaotic as the one that we've had. Not just, not just this episode, but the return of the Incredible Hulk one too, where it devolved into me and Dalton just listing words that start with L in an attempt to poke fun at Lou Ferrigno's name. Honestly, this this whole Hulk sweep has just been just the worst. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, but these Lou Ferrigno Hulk movies, they just do something <laughs> they, to me. They, they bring something out in us. I don't know what... It... They they break me. Ooh. I don't they understand. They they break us down to Lou Ferrigno's Maybe it's because we started <laughs> recording immediately after we watched them with these. Do you think that's it? But we've been doing that for, like with everything for like a while now, haven't we? No, we we. I mean, sort well, we of. Started, we started with Stuart Little, but it's been everything since then. But Stuart it? Little was like a one-off, and then we kind of went back to the regular flow. And then with these, we decided like we're going to do that regularly. No, I swear, I swear with everything since Stuart Little, we've. That, yeah, but like, everything right since after. Stuart Little has been a Shyamalan movie. No, it hasn't. What do you how mean? Sh- how many? Stuart how Little many? wasn't. With, the Shyamalan sweep was pre-Stuart Little. <laughs> it was it was Yogi Bear and Garfield that we watched then, oh. and and the uh, the environmental tune thing. Maybe maybe it's She Hulk is damaged. Don't I mean, I think it's, yeah, She Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro saw She Hulk twerking once and lost it. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I Daniel, don't know. Daniel, I don't know. there were women who were writing their own show, and they made her twerk. <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. They put, they put Meg the Stallion twerking. I can't believe they put Megan the Stallion in this movie. <laughs> that made me laugh so hard I farted. <laughs> Alright, everyone. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, yes. This is over now. Can we, we gotta can we go close, home? We gotta close this thing out. I think yeah. the Incredible uh, Hulk. I think the death of the Incredible well, Hulk can't is even finish his sentence. <laughs> I think the death of the Incredible Hulk is horrible, and I hated every second of it, except for the scenes that I liked, which were few and far between. Um, it was no trial. If you're gonna watch one of this trilogy, the the seventies Hulk movie, nineties trilogy, watch. Trial? trial because trial is so genuinely good and yeah. daniel said before we started he was like i wonder if we liked that one because it was better than the rest or because it had daredevil in it and i didn't believe him at first but now i don't I'm think, I don't think, think guys, he was I don't right think I said that. Like, i don't think i said that i think i think josh was asking what made it stand out so much and i just well yeah no I, I was asking like 
I wonder if if trial was the outlier then. Like, what made it better than the other ones? And you guys reaffirmed that it was Daredevil. But like, the story feels so much more grounded and good in I, that one. Where I mean, I, I take that back. This one is very grounded. I mean, the, story, the story was pretty grounded in this. Like, the the story wasn't. The story wasn't uh, the issue. It, it it was a little bit, but it wasn't it wasn't the the concept of the story. It was the, it was how little right. explained. Like right, like it, it wasn't that the I mean, story we was we bad. Know, we didn't know the villain's motivation until like ten minutes till the end of the movie. Right, the story in this movie wasn't necessarily bad, as much as nothing happens in this movie and it's horribly right. boring. And this might be my least favorite of the three because at least the other two offer something interesting. This one really kind of offers nothing. And By I something don't... interesting, you mean Daredevil and Thor, right? <laughs> I mean, they did interesting things with the characters in those two. And David Banner's name in uh, the Thor one was David Bangin. That was interesting. <laughs> um, that was like, pretty interesting. There's interesting... This carrot cake, though. That was pretty interesting. There was carrot cake. Shout That's out to facts. carrot cake. That's and facts. it also was a rock, but <laughs> shout out to the rock. <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> this is an only, this is an only Black Adam crossover. You think we could get Dwayne Johnson on the podcast? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to DM him on Instagram. I think I'll answer me. He seems chill. Make one of him. Make one of him. Fortnite. Him. Make one of him. Play Fortnite. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be like, you seem chill. We should play Fortnite sometime. Daniel, I think he'll respond. Make one of your patented Instagram reels, but with this segment of the can podcast. We just, can we just... <laughs> I will. This whole can episode we just quick. Like Instagram reel. <laughs> Real quick, can we just shout out Zach Ward for actually mm -hmm. replying to stupid DM really, Rude. really kindly and being yeah. like an absolute sweetheart. top. Zach Ward, absolute top, top gent, top chap. Shout out to that guy. I don't know what's happening. Then Daniel sent Zach Ward the star of Postal the movie. Uh, <laughs> yes. A, a DM, a, like a and dumb DM saying, he's hey. The, um, Christmas Story. He's the bully from Christmas Story. That's probably what you know him from. I haven't mm. seen Christmas Story because I'm not a nerd. He's in uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Hold on, hold on. You haven't seen Christmas Story? No, you're, I have. You're bullshitting me. I have okay. seen Christmas Story. I just don't like Christmas Story. <laughs> I've seen it like once. Why? That's a, a, a classic Christmas film. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, regardless, shut I would up. not I'm, I'm sorry you're dead inside, Dalton. Get out of here. I would not recommend. Anyway, shout out to Zach Ward. Do not watch this movie. Star of a Christmas Story. He played the bully. Yeah. That's what you would know him from. Yeah, star of the Postal movie. <laughs> I'm shout going. Out, shout, out to, shout out to Uwe Boll while we're at it. <laughs> I did not know that one. Yeah, no, I'm I'm lying. Don't don't shout out. Don't don't watch Uwe Boll. He's, like, he's, yeah, no. He's, he's, no. The only the only funny the only good thing he, Uwe Boll ever did was he challenged his critics to a boxing match and then just <laughs> beat the shit out of them. I'm going into convulsions. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't keep that's doing not, that's this. That's not something that I support, but it is extremely funny. Can we? That, that is. Can, that is. Can, can we end this? I think we all would not recommend this movie, and we all hate it. Is that correct? I uh, think so. Yeah. That being said, this was one of the most fun episodes we've ever recorded. So it, that's true. So I, I guess I, I would. I would some. only. I would recommend watching this movie if you, you have, have a, a podcast of exactly like ours, and you're you're gonna watch. <laughs> and then talk about it if, if you and your friends are deeply deeply disturbed <laughs> yeah um, if, if you guys are like as severely autistic as us then yeah watch watch this movie and record a podcast on it why not all right you heard it here first <laughs> start your own podcast simply to watch the death of the incredible hulk we'll see you on the very next episode of <laughs> semi pro yeah man <laughs> That, that was insane. <laughs>